Hi, this video will show basic shapes. Um, we start with a rectangle. You see that all shapes have the same options here milling option inside, outside, pocket, underline, outside, uh, direction counterclockwise or clockwise, cut start surface, user define, cut down to, through, bottom half or user defined and the same thing for finishing they all have the same thing here finishing cut the uh, yes okay the chords the they're different on the options like the chords like the rectangle here you can align to the same thing center y-axis center and um, it aligns with the workpiece you had. Let's see the rectangle. We see it is instead of which 30. Okay, so we see it here. And let's put this at 10 def here. And the rectangle. The rectangle that what are this uh, these options? It's the rotation 10 percent, 10 degree or 30 degree it will rotate around the center except if you align it on the left you see it rotates there it's aligned left and the Y on the center and if you if we align it on the top you see where it changes exactly okay and the corners the corners can be can have this different options it can be rounded at let's see uh, 10 millimeter it can be chamfered straight or it can be inverted round okay this has some use and I'll show in some demo how wh when it can be used okay that's it for the rectangle just delete it and we go with the circle circle has same option for milling and finishing chords same you are lying it on left it allows you to align on left and change the diameter without with being uh, aligned on, on the left too and the same for the CY it's, it's aligned on the bottom or something or some other place the rotation is if we need a flat let's say we need a flat of five, five millimeter that's where it is and you can rotate it 20 degree or 120 and it will rotate there the circle from two points the two points are the end of the um, diameter it has still the same option here with the D flat 15 degree or 90 and uh, when you change um, let's say you want the X at 10 it changes the diameter of course 20 changes exact and you cannot uh, yes that's it and the rest is the same slot slot you have a chord it either align on the end on one end or a center of the slot okay depends on where you want it how you want it in the rotation 30 degree the width is the inside width and the effective length if you watch carefully we'll remove this the effective length it's not the overall length it's the length you can move uh, slide it slide a bolt adjust make some adjustment if you want um, total length you simply use a rectangle a slot in fact is simply a rectangle that has round corners let's see it's 
slot is one is uh, 12 millimeter 12 by 25 let's see the rectangle 12 by 25 whoops sorry 25 12 and we're lying on the center there okay you see it's a total length right here and if we uh, round the corners at let's see 10 that's what we have it's the overall length we have if we make it 37 then they're the same dimension whoop not width 37 yes yes all right I had 25 and the width is okay anyway you understand the principle active if you want to hide it temporarily deactivate and if you don't want to show let's see here we use uh, three millimeter or something or a little bigger six or six millimeter mill okay the design line when you want to show design or not you hide it you only see the tool path and like I said in the preference if you don't want to show the bottom line hide it and you have only the top line okay the slot from two point is the same thing you define same thing as the, the circle from uh, two points it's the center of the two ends um, let's remove this okay and there's no rotation for that because it is defined by the points the axial radial slot chord is the CX it's the center zero size width and the radius and it start angle at uh, let's say you start at zero degree and you extend 360 degree then you can make a groove all around and you may change the width to 15 if you create a pocket you will have a groove then okay you will have a groove with this okay and uh, that's it for the radial slot ellipse you can have an ellipse with 30 points anything from 10 to 90 control point per quadrant that's 360 quadra um, lines that define the, the ellipse the more you put the smoother it is so you change the radius the x radius instead of 50 you make it 40 and you change the shape the basic shape and also you can do the same here pocket on the line or outside and you can rotate it to 30 degree let's say and it change all this and the same here you are lying here on the left on the top or bottom it works with everything after this the polygon you can have a polygon of anything from three not two but three sides up to I don't know how many not 100 yes 100 300 no 600 
360. Okay. I should reduce that. Because it's not a polygon anymore, it's a circle. Let's say 20, hmm, 10, or 8. And you can rotate it too, and the radius, set the radius. The chord, it's always a center. You do not align it here. And the last thing we have here is a surface finishing that we already talked about in uh, one of the first video. Okay, that's for the basic shapes. Some other interesting thing to see is um, advanced. We, we'll come back, but because there's a lot of thing to see around on this group, we'll go miscellaneous here. You have the raw material, but custom code. You may add custom code when you want to make parameter. You can use, let's say, number parameter 1 equal 5 um, whoop, parameter width equal uh, 20. But when you use, you never should use global parameters on this because they're used in the system. I use them. And uh, when you have name parameters, do not end them with number. Always end them with a letter or an underscore. That will be all right. But no number. You can get in a, it can confuse the system because it's I use a lot of parameters with uh, that end with uh, two numbers and a Okay. You can add also insert a G code file. You select a file here. Whoop, I do not have any here. Mm, maybe here. No. No. Okay. You select the file you want to add and you make sure you strip the initialization and the M2 at the end and you can add any code you want around here and if you want to simply add a comment you add this is a comment yes press enter and it's useful when you want to take note and uh, you want to remember what you made there Okay, you will find a lot of comments here in the demo when I publish them. And change units. Okay, let's say you want to create a circle, but you only know the metric dimension. You change the units here for the radius and diameter, width, height, length. Okay, just we change for the diameter. So this is metric that was loaded. So I want to enter a diameter that is inch, 1.5 inch. So I have it right here. It's 1.5 inch. I do not have to do the change or calculate myself. Uh, the system will calculate it. And if you add another circle at the end, No, but not this, not this. Wrong item. Okay, I have another circle here, and you see it is 45 millimeter, 60 millimeter. Okay, I should move it. Move it to the right. And the other one to the left. So, in the same file, I use the imperial dimension and the metric dimension okay
Okay, and that's it for the shapes. Thanks for watching.